Hello everyone, I'm Elisa with EECC Travels and today we're going to talk about Norwegian's free at sea program and if it's going to be a good value for you on your upcoming cruise. If you watch our channel, you know that we love Norwegian Cruise Lines. It's one of our favorite and we do really like the free at sea program. And let me be honest with you about something. Norwegian was the first one to come up with this all included idea of cruising. And in the last few years, many other cruise lines have copied this idea in their own form. So that tells you that it is a good idea. It's a good value. It is added value to the cruise. So let's talk a little bit about what it is and how it works. So when you book a cruise with Norwegian Cruise Lines, there are two options. You can choose the standard rate that comes with the free at sea or a sail away rate. So a sail away rate has no perks at all. It is a basic cabin. You're choosing, you know, an interior, an ocean view or a balcony. You do not choose your cabin. The cabin will be assigned for you and you don't get any of the perks. This is the absolute cheapest way to cruise. And if you don't need any of those extra perks, this can be the way to go. Have we done this before? Yes, we have, but not always because we really feel that that free at sea has a great value. So whenever you choose your Norwegian cruise, you can choose what perks you want or you can take them all. So the main four perks that are gonna come with the free at sea is the unlimited open bar. <laughs> this is the most popular and I think this is what most people are interested in when it comes to the free at sea. How does this work? It is literally unlimited. What I like about it is you can go up to the bar and get two drinks at a time. What that means is one person can go get drinks for two people instead of both people having to go. So if somebody's in the pool and they're like, yeah, grab me something. You know, one person, the husband can go and get him and his wife a drink. That's just an example. But I like that. You're not being counted. You're not, oh, you only get X number of drinks a day. It doesn't mean you're gonna go crazy and get schnockered every day of your cruise, but it's just a convenience factor. Also, all drinks up to $15 are included. So a lot of people are like, oh, well, does that mean everything's included? Pretty much. I have never had to pay extra for a drink on a cruise with Norwegian because what I'm going to drink is going to be included. I like the hard ciders like a Angry Orchard. Jason likes beer for the most part. And whenever we go wanting something a little fruity, you know, a pina colada or, or a margarita or, ooh, what do they make? It's the mango meltdown is a Norwegian specialty. All of those are under $15. So they're included. And what about wine? Wine is included too, as long as it's per glass under $15. So we have literally been on a bunch of Norwegian cruises and never exceeded that $15. Well, what if you do? What if there's that one drink, you know, say it's a martini and it's just a little bit over, you just pay the difference. So instead of, so if that martini is $18, you have a $15 drink limit, you pay $3 for the martini, not a bad deal. And there is a way that you can get all of those included and we'll cover that at the end of the video, so stay tuned. What else other than alcohol is included? All of your sodas and juices are included. Now, not that freshly squeezed juice that they do at the bar, that is extra, but I'm a soda drinker. I'm not a coffee drinker, so I gotta get my caffeine somehow, and I love, love that I can just go get soda any time of the day, whenever I want it, and some ships, like the Prima, even have like a self-service soda machine, which I think is pretty spectacular. If you're a soda drinker, you'll get that. <laughs> so a lot is included in this unlimited open bar. So what is not included? Your bottled water, or actually on the ship, it's like a paper carton. Those are not included, and specialty coffees is not included, and that freshly squeezed juice we talked about is not included. And of course, any drink over $15, you have to pay the difference there. But like I said, overall, this is a great value. You can literally go on board and try all the different drinks. If you don't like something, you don't feel so guilty about not drinking it because it was included, 
You know what I mean? I've done that before. Because we decided one time we were going to go sit at the whiskey bar. And I'm like, I'm going to be a big girl. And I'm going to try a drink with whiskey in it. Yeah, I didn't like it. I'm not a whiskey girl. Didn't like it. I took a couple of sips and I abandoned the drink and I didn't feel bad about abandoning the drink because I did not pay individually for that drink and it didn't count towards this, you know, number of drinks you can have per day. Let me just interject right here. If you're liking this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. The next part of the free at sea is the specialty dining. We love this. Me and Jason are foodies. Norwegian is known for their food and their included food is very, very good. But the fact that they have so many different specialty dining restaurants and that you can try one or two included in the cost of your cruise is really spectacular. Because when you, they're gonna give you a ticket and you're gonna sign it and see what the value is, it can be, you know, $150 for two people that you're getting included. And that's pretty spectacular. Our favorites are teppanyaki. Absolutely love this. It, there's so much food. You're not going to leave hungry. It's consistently good. They put on a little show and you get rice and you, oh my God, the fried rice is to die for. You've got a few appetizers. You get to choose your meat and then you get dessert. You're going to leave there stuffed. We also love Le Bistro. This is their French restaurant. Mm, everything in there is delicious. Um, and actually, Jason has found that his favorite steak is not from the steakhouse. It's in Le Bistro. The Italian restaurant is good as well. There's Onda on the new ships, but then La Cucina. You want good pizza? I know this is crazy. You're going to go to a specialty dining restaurant and get pizza, but the pizza in La Cucina is delicious. Anyway, you're going to you're going to have more food in these specialty dining venues than you can eat. Can you go in there and just order everything off the menu? No, it is limited. So, the teppanyaki of course is all you can eat because they're just going to keep on providing the food. Um, but in the others you're going to get one to two appetizers an entree and a dessert. But again, it's great food and it's more than you absolutely need. I've never left there hungry. So how many do you get? It depends on a couple of things. Shorter cruises are going to give you one. Um, seven day cruises, which is what, you know, the average is depending on the cabin you choose. So if you have an interior or ocean view or studio, you're going to get one. If you have a balcony above, you're going to get two. Longer cruises, you get more specialty dining. This is a great perk. Love it. Next up is free excursions. Now this one, I got to say, the excursions are not free. There is a discount. So I think it should be called free shore excursion credits instead of free excursions, but that's just me. Um, I guess free excursion sounds better, but actually one time we did get a true free excursion because we were in Juneau, Alaska and we were using it for the tram that goes up the mountain and the tram was only 35 or $40. So yes, technically it was free. Now, how does it work? So you've got a $50 credit. Is that per port? Is it per person? How, how does this work? This is what it is. It's $50 per port, per excursion, per cabin. Okay. In each port, you can take more than one excursion if you want, and you will get that $50 discount on each excursion but it is not per person. It's $50 for the cabin and it is applied to guest number one. So if it's a family, not a big deal. If it's two friends traveling together, one friend is gonna get the $50 discount and one is not. So you gotta kinda work that out between yourselves. But it will always go to guest one. There's no way you can manually move it over to guest two. Wi-Fi, that is number four on the free at sea list. This is we're going to use a seven day cruise as an example. It's 150 minutes per person for guests one and two. This is not unlimited. So that means you sign in and you sign out of the Wi-Fi. If you forget, just go to the internet desk and tell me you forgot to sign out and they'll fix it for you. But best thing to do so you don't have to deal with that is sign in when you want to use the internet, browse Facebook, post some pictures on Instagram, check your email. When you're done, sign out of it. 
So is this enough? It depends on you. So if you're like us and live in social, live and work in social media, no, it's not enough. We upgrade to the unlimited streaming plan. But for the average person who is going on vacation and wants to cut off and just maybe post a couple of vacation photos, yes, it is plenty. Early days of cruising with Norwegian before we were full-time YouTubers, we definitely did this. We used this perk we signed in and out of the Wi-Fi and we did not buy extra. So it definitely can be enough for you. Okay, on the first four, these is, this is what's always gonna be included in the free at sea. It hasn't changed in a long time. They've tweaked it a little bit here and there, but these are the four items that are part of the free at sea. Now the big question is, is it free? Yes and no. Okay, yes, you are not paying for the beverage package. You're not paying for the specialty dining credits. What you are paying for is the gratuity. So there's a 20% gratuity on the unlimited beverage package based on the value of the package. So right now for a seven day cruise, it's $109 per person per day. So you're gonna pay a 20% gratuity on that. So for a seven day cruise, you're looking at about $150 per person for the gratuities. So this is where you have to decide, is this a good value for you? Well, if you go look at cruise lines that charge for a beverage package, nothing's included, and you're strictly paying for the beverage package, you're looking at, you know, 50 to 60, sometimes, gosh, $90 per person per day, plus gratuities. So yeah, it absolutely can be a great value. Um, just paying $150 for those gratuities per person for the week, that's great. I mean, even for someone like me who doesn't drink very much, $150, yeah, I can drink that. I can drink that in soda just about. And honestly, the soda package, the unlimited soda package is gonna cost you $70. So for just that little bit more, you've got unlimited alcohol beverages as well. And same goes with the specialty dining. You're not paying for the specialty dining credits, you're just paying for the gratuities, which is only about $10 per person for one and like 17 or $20 per person for two. Now the rates will fluctuate, so um, always check the Norwegian website for the actual cost of this or check with your travel agent and they can let you know what the actual cost will be for your cruise. So far, does this sound like a good value to you? Are you, would you use that unlimited beverage package? Do you like Norwegian specialty dining? I told you our two favorite restaurants. Let me know what yours is. And what is your favorite drink on a Norwegian cruise? I personally love the mango meltdown that I mentioned earlier and what they call their perfect margarita is pretty good too. But sometimes there's even more to the free at sea. And we have taken advantage of this when they do the third and fourth guest sales free, or sometimes it's third and fourth guests at a very big discount, like $99 per person. This is in the same cabin, so don't think you're gonna put two people in one cabin and get two people in another cabin for free. It doesn't work like that. It's third and fourth guests in the same cabin. But if you got kids, even older kids, we did this when the boys were 16 years old and me and Jason were the two adults, they were the kids, they sailed for free, we went to Alaska, it saved us a ton of money. Is this on every sailing? No, it's on select sailings. You're usually not gonna find it in peak season. So not during the summer, not Christmas, spring breaks, pretty iffy. So holidays, uh, summertime, you're typically not gonna find it. Pretty much you can say if the kids are out of school, you're not gonna get the third and fourth guest sale free. But there's still a lot of sailings that have it and it doesn't have to be kids. It can be four adults in the same cabin you can absolutely do that. Some cruise lines do limit that free guest to kids 12 and under. Norwegian doesn't, I think that's great. Lastly, and this is probably the biggest question mark on the free at sea is the free airfare. How this works is guest one you pay for, guest two is free. If you have third and fourth in the, in the same cabin, you're paying for those as well. So really this value comes up when you have two people in a cabin. How does this work? Because this is a huge question. As a travel agent, I, ha I explain this to all of my clients because there's some nuances to this. Basically, you are paying a flat upfront rate for your airfare and you are handing control over to Norwegian. 
They, Norwegian Cruise Line, is gonna book your air about 45 days before your cruise. They will choose your cruise line, they will choose your flight times, they will choose everything about your cruise. Once the flight is booked, you can go in and choose your seats, you can add your frequent flyer numbers, you can add your known traveler numbers, you can pay for care, um, checked bags if you want to, you can do those things, but the flight itself will be 100% booked by Norwegian and is not changeable once it's booked. You can choose to fly in one to two days early and or stay one to two days after the cruise. But that's your limit, two days. Two days before, two days after, that's the limit. With that, again, they still have control over the airline and the flight times, but you're choosing the day you come in. Norwegian will also automatically add transfers to your booking. So if you're flying in the day of the cruise, they will have a transfer waiting for you at the airport to take you to the cruise port. And then after the cruise, there'll be a transfer to take you to the airport. Basically what they're doing is they're gonna make sure you make your cruise, okay? So you're, you're handing over control to them, but they're gonna book a flight that will get you there on time. It may not be exactly what you're wanting, but it's what you need. There's a difference there. If you need to choose the airline, if you're like, I like Southwest and I'm only flying with Southwest, don't do this because you're not gonna get Southwest. I have only seen American, United, and Delta as airlines that have been used by the Norwegian program. There could have been others, but this is from my personal experience. That's all I've ever seen. Is it a good program? Again, it depends on you. How much control do you need over your flights? If, if you cannot give up control of that, don't do it. I've used it and it's been great. I've used it a few times. I've had great flights. I've never had a problem. I've had clients that have had a very late return flight that they weren't really happy with, but it met the criteria of what was provided with the free at sea. They got home and they didn't have any problems. It was just those little things of flight times that they weren't really happy with. But if you're willing to give up that control and let Norwegian book your air, it's a great value or definitely can be. Right now, flight prices are ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. So if you can lock in a flight price and you know what it is and you know that you're guaranteed to make your cruise, I think it's great. Here's one caveat. If you have multiple cabins, don't use this because there's no way to guarantee that everybody in your family will be put on the same flights. I feel that the air program is best for two people traveling in the same cabin and they're willing to give up complete control over this. Again, like I said, I've used it. I think it's great. I'm using it on my next cruise with Norwegian. I used it on my last cruise with Norwegian. I have no problem with it. But again, it was just me and Jason traveling together. If we had the kids with us or if we had extended family or friends with us, we probably wouldn't use this. Overall, let me know what do you think of the Norwegian's free at sea program? Do you think it's a good value? Would you choose to sail with Norwegian to try this out if you've never cruised with them before? I know our first cruise with Norwegian was back in 2018 and we'd never experienced the free at sea. And I will tell you, it was really fantastic to get on board, know that our drinks are included, that we have some specialty dining included, that our Wi-Fi is included, and we're not gonna have a bill at the end of the cruise. Love that. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. And again, if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you next time. Happy cruising, bye.